Hello, this is your Reverend Edwin Perry coming on to give you your weekend word for worship. Y'all hear those birds chirping? Lord have mercy. Those birds chirping is confirming the word God gave me. So, as you know, I'm the founder and CEO of the Vine and God Ministries. The Vine and God Ministry is a global ministry here to equip, empower, and teach the believer on how to fill their spiritual arsenal with the unconcealed weapon to combat the enemy. I got to give you this word. Earlier, I was walking. Earlier, I was walking. And um, I couldn't walk really fast because my knee is, ugh, is in pain. Um, at any rate, um. One of my spiritual sisters, she has this on one of her shirts, um, Minister Tia Bowers, who did um, Tuesday Talks a few weeks ago. Her shirt says, ask. She has a shirt that says, ask. And as I was walking, God said, ask me for the healing of your knee. God said, ask me for the healing of your knee. Now, listen, that doesn't mean when I ask him for the healing, that doesn't mean that I may not have to have surgery. Let's have common sense now because God gives us common sense. But he said, ask. He said, stop talking about your knee is hurting. Stop talking about the pain you're in. But ask. Not only that, God said, ask me for your financial breakthrough. Ask me for your balm in Gilead. Ask me for the peace you need. Ask me for the love you need. God says, ask. God says, so many of us, we sit here and we talk about what's going on. We talk about what's wrong, but we never ask. And I'm getting to hear the birds chirp as we came on. Listen, the birds chirp, to, they are asking God for the food. They're asking God. You know what? If he take care of the birds as the birds are out here chirping and talking to one another. Because the birds are talking to God just like we talk to him. That's their way of talking to him. But the birds can chirp to ask God to show them where they need to fly and he take care of them. He'll take care of us. That's scripture. And Matthew, go read Matthew, the sixth chapter, I think, in the 25th verse. He says, why are you worried about tomorrow? Tomorrow will take care of itself. If I take care of the birds, what would I do for you? Lord, have mercy. But you have to ask. Because if you go on and read in chapter 6, it tells you, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and all righteousness. Lord have mercy. I'm about to preach out here. Ask. Ask God. Ask him for what you need. Stop talking about the pain. Stop talking about the sickness. Stop talking about you can't pay your bills. Stop talking about your, your job is not giving your hours. But ask him to take care of you. And he will. He will take care of you. I'm a witness. I'm a believer. I think I got some believers in here. Stop telling him what's going on and ask him to help you with what's going on. He is your strength. Go read Nehemiah, the fourth chapter. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Lord, have mercy. When you are weak, ask him to be your strength. Lord God, I'm trying to help you out today. So many of us are too busy telling social media, too busy telling people, too busy telling your family members, too busy telling your pastor, too busy. But pastor, I called my pastor. He said he couldn't come. Or she said she couldn't come lay hands on. You got enough power into you to lay your hands on your own self. The Bible says in Luke 10 and 19 that I give you power to tread scorpions and serpents. Lord have mercy. You better use that power that within you to ask God to help you. So I come to tell you, listen to those birds chirp. Lord have mercy. If the birds got sense enough to ask God, what do I need to go to get food? Why don't we have sense enough to ask him for what we need? I come to tell you, ask. A-S-K. Ask God for what you need. This is your Reverend Edwina appearing. Until next time, until Monday morning, until our weekday morning prayer, I love you and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.